And we're back. Welcome to season two of Direct Current, an energy.gov podcast. I'm Matt Dozier. And I'm Allison Lantero. First off, we wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who listened to the first season of Direct Current. We really appreciate your support and your enthusiasm and all your emails asking about when the podcast will be coming back. The answer to that is next week. We're very excited about the stories we've got lined up for the coming episodes, and we think you're really going to enjoy them. We've also got something new in store for you this season. We'll be doing mini episodes to hold you over between our full-length shows. We're calling them Short Circuits. They'll cover things like a sponge that only soaks up oil and the history of the light bulb. And while we're hard at work, we wanted to give you a quick preview of what we've got coming up in season two of Direct Current. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Dress him up to look like a salesman, put him on a passenger train up through Chicago and out to Los Alamos. That's how every bit of the uranium for little boy got transported from Y-12 to Los Alamos. You think that people can't keep secrets? We really did. We did a good job. An explosion on the Deepwater Horizon oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico. That oil rig has now sunk. We look down at thick brown streaks of crude on a sea that is normally deep green. And cleanup crews spent the day trying to keep the 12-mile-long oil slick from the rig from reaching shore. You take this oleo sponge and you put it down on that oil slick and it is just visibly remarkable. You know, a second or less, it has just soaked it right up. We can soak up oil, squeeze it out, soak up more, squeeze it out over and over and over again until literally you just get bored or tired. Being able to develop a technology that can actually make a difference in addressing those types of catastrophes is it's just awesome. Buckle up for a journey through all 17 national labs in 17 minutes. Ready? Here we go. Brookhaven National Lab. It opened in 1947 and up to New York. More than 50 years ago before either. Dark matter is one of these things that uh, we know very little about it right now. Sometimes the Axion experiments are compared to trying to turn it, tune into a radio station which is at an unknown frequency. So we have, a, we have the world's most sensitive radio receiver we basically make one turn of the dial every year, despite having these incredibly sensitive amplifiers. I'm proud to be an American every day, but today I am truly blessed and as proud as I've ever been to say that I am on a team of men and women who have the potential to change the world. This is Direct Current. 